Today we're going to learn how to paint objects and materials in Blender. So let's see. First of all, let's stay with the cube because it's easier to start practicing. Let's do the camera and the light because we don't need it. And usually, if you want to paint an object, a material, what you have to do is to go here in texture paint. However, if it's your first time, maybe you're thinking, what is this tab and this tab? I don't understand how I get here. So first of all, before showing how to use these tabs, I'm going to do it from here. So later you'll understand what is happening here. Trust me. So first of all, let's open this tab and select the shade editor. And if you don't have a material, create it. We have already one. I'm going to press M to hide this. And to see the material, remember, really important, select material view. Now, if you want to start painting, what you have to do is to change object mode for texture paint. And now you can see the cycle that is a brush. So we can start clicking and paint. Let's try it. Hmm, it's not working. If you see below, it's saying missing texture. So we need a texture. So how we add a texture? To the texture, you have to go to the material and here insert an image texture, this node, and connect it here. And now as you can see, it's changing the color. So maybe you're thinking, okay, I can start painting. Let's click, and still I can paint because it's saying missing texture. And you're thinking, but you have already texture. No, we have the node, but we don't have any texture. Why? Because we need to add it here in new. So click here, and now you can add a name, for example, my texture, and this is the base color. I'm going to leave it black, but you can change if you want. And to confirm, let's select new image. And now, yes, now we have a texture. That means that now, if you click, we can start painting our object, as you can see right now. So just remember that thanks to this node, we can start painting our objects. Perfect, now you understand how we can start painting and what is a texture. So the next time you start, you can go here in texture paint. And when you see this tab, this tab, remember, is the texture paint. So we have already selected this tab instead of object mode. Okay, but why is pink? Is this a base color? No. If you try to paint here, it's saying missing texture. So this color is to tell you that there is not a texture. So you're thinking, we have to do the same like before. No, but I was showing you to understand how it works. So the only thing we have to do is to go here in texture slots. As you can see, it says no texture. Let me select here the shade editor to see what is going to happen. So as you can see, we don't have any image texture and we don't have to add it here in the shade editor. I was just showing to you to understand how it works. So how we can do it from this panel? Just go here and click this button. And here you have different textures. Let's select this one, the normal, and here is the same panel like before. So let's call it my texture. Let's select black, for example. And look here what is going to happen when I click add. So now you understand what is happening. When we click here and we add a new material, basically in the material, in the shade editor, is adding this node and creating a new texture. And thanks to this, now we can start painting. By the way, you can create as many textures as you want. Let's go here, click here, and create a second texture. So I can paint this texture, and if I want to change the texture, then I can go here, and select the first texture, as you can see. So now you understand the process behind the shade editor, we can do it again without going there. Just click here, remember it's pink because we need a texture, let's add a texture, base color, let's say black for example, and let's select add. And what is this tab? This tab is the UV map of this object. So if you start painting here, as you can see, we can see it in real time in this UV map that is the object open, unwrap. So which tab is this one? This one is the image editor. And what you can do is to see in real time here, so you can paint here, or you can paint here. And we're going to see it in the viewport. If you don't want to paint here and just block it, then go here and select view. So now we cannot paint. But if you want to paint, then select Paint. Perfect, now you understand what is this tab. So for the last time, let's do it again, but now without clicking here. Just go in here, text of paint, it's easier, and remember, 
let's add a texture. So to change the size of the brush, what you can do is to go here and you can increase it, as you can see, or decrease it. And this is the strength. It's like the pressure. So now it's 100. But if you decrease this, as you can see, it has less and less pressure. If you want to see these tools faster, what you can do is to click here in Tool, and here you have all the options. Here you have the same, as you can see, and here you can change the color. If not, you can do it here. By the way, did you know we have two colors? So here, as you can see, we can add another color. For example, red. So how I can use red? To use red, I need to click with Control. So if I click with Normal, I'm painting with the first color, blue. And if I want to use the second color, I press with Control. So I can use the second color, first color, second color, first color, second color. By the way, if you want to paint everything with one color because you want to restart the game, what you can do is to select this option, Fill. And now, if you click, it's going to paint all the objects with one color. Now it's painting with white because we have white, but I can click with Control to paint it black. And now let's come back here, and we can start again. By the way, if you want to change faster the size of the brush without going here or here, you can click with the right click, and here you have this panel. So you can see we have all these options and the colors, but there is a faster way to change the radius. How? Oh, pressing F. So now I press F, and if I go to the left, I'm decreasing the size of the brush. And if I click again, I'm confirming. So you can see I change faster the size of the brush. And if I want to increase it, then I press F, and I go to the right. And I click again to confirm. And here you have other tools. For example, you have the smear, that basically is like in Photoshop. You can do this effect, as you can see. And then you have Soften, that basically, when it's really sharp, it's soft the transition. Now we can see because we have already a transition, but it's just to soft the colors. And before we finish this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a mask. So to create a mask, what we have to do is to go to Edit Mode. And now you have to select the face that you want to paint. For example, I'm going to set this one with the face tool. But before selecting this one, I'm going to subdivide it. So actually, I'm going to select this one, this one, this one, and this one. And now I want to create a mask of this. So the only thing you have to do is to select faces with this tool, with the edit tool. And now if we come back to the texture pane, to paint there, because now if I do like this, I'm not applying the mask. I'm going to change the color, as you can see. So to paint in the mask, you need to click this button. And this button, as you can see, is selecting only the faces that we select in the edit mode. So it's to apply like a mask, as you can see. And if you click here, we are deselecting the mask. So if you want to paint only one face, remember to go to edit mode. You can press tab to go faster and select a face, for example, this one, come back to texture paint, and now click here. So with this, you learn all the basics how to start painting objects in Blender. If you like this video, give a like, and we appreciate it a lot. Subscribe, and see you in the next video.